Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2015 Crossroads Redwood model number 38 RL, weighs just over 14,000 pounds. We got four slides on a massive rear living room model with a gorgeous outside paint scheme. Let's get after it with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. What's going on, happy campers? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. If you don't mind hitting that like, subscribe button, leaving a comment even, that'd be awesome. We're on Instagram, we're on TikTok, and we're on Facebook. We're doing shorter videos there, but they're still sweet. Check those out as well. Right on, Brendan. I love the paint on this guy. The Redwood paints are always fantastic. A great looking front fiberglass cap, Rotoflex pin box, uh, generator prep over on the left, or just rougher style storage, battery in a box location here, six point hydraulic auto leveling system on this guy. We've got propane on either side. We have our auto leveling controls here, and then barn style doors here, opening up to our massive drop frame uh, pass-through storage. Nice uh, flooring here on the uh, uh, pass-through as well. And then here's your wet bay. You got gate valves, you got winterizing, you have bypass on the water heater, fresh water fill, city water connection, outside shower, water pump switch, black water flush kit. But check this out, B. We got ourselves a slide within a slide, giving us a killer bedroom. Furnace vent, six, uh, 12 gallon gas electric water heater, our tires are right through here. They're Goodyear tires. 16s, B? Ooh, I think so. Yep, 16-inch tires. We got the equalizer suspension in through there to match up with our uh, pin box at the front. Cord reel. It's a 50 amp trailer, of course. Rear fiberglass cap. Kind of looking like a bus going down the road. Class 3 receiver. Oh, Brennan. A little trunk storage. A little trunk storage, eh, bud? That's pretty slick there. In between the frame rails, some good storage there. We have ourselves a roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. And then here down the door side, we've got our main living room slide. And our main living room slide has an awning off of it. Uh, we have our main awning further forward. There is a slide topper on this slide as well. Outside TV location, four step entrance up and in, lend a hand grab handle. Nice little spot here to put an ice maker, Brendan. There's a receptacle in through there. Just the other side of our pass-through storage and another 30 pound per pain tank on this side. Let's get this thing opened up and check out the inside. Right on folks, before we go inside, we just noticed something. There's a little bit of a scrape right here, a little bit of scrape right there, and then up on that red decal up the top there. Just don't want any surprises for you folks when you show up. Now let's go have a look inside. Right on folks, we're inside that 38 RL. This is a killer high-end fifth wheel. Great value. You don't want to know what these things cost brand new, Brendan. I couldn't afford it. You couldn't afford it. Even this one's a little touch and go for you, let's <laughs> yeah. be honest, right? Uh, we've got the <laughs> opposing slides in through here. They're massive slides. They're tall slides. We've got a massive island in here, too. We're going to get to all that. How about those LED lights on that island? That's pretty slick. Super cool. Really nice furniture across the board here. Nice chairs. You know, cool looking pattern on them. we got a cupboard here. This table does pull out. A little bit to give you like a four-seater dinette covered there too. And then again, really, really nice furniture. I love this stuff. It's Thomas Payne, yes, but it's just plusher, softer, really, really nice stuff. Reclining action, door side windows behind me. We've also got the day and the night shades on this guy too. We got our couch here at the back with the OG pull-out style mattress. Windows across the back too. Cupboards in through here. I love how these are backlit with LED lights. And then across from the theater seats, we got our LG TV. It's not our Sansui knockoff, is it, Brendan? Not today. Not today. Drawers in through here. A cabinet that locks, which is cool. Fireplace down below. Cabinets continue down and around here. And then this must pull out somehow, Brendan. Oh, just standard pull out. Leave it to Josh to try to overcomplicate things. Shelves in behind the TV. Really, really nice. And then here's our massive pantry. Look at all that. Drawers in through here, all kinds of it. They even put a little power bar so you can park an appliance in there. Induction cooktop, convection micro, cupboard, cupboard. This is kind of a theme they do in motorhomes, right, Brendan? Yep. Smaller drawer here, another cupboard there, and then three large drawers in place of our oven. Now our island, great counter space on either side of the island, pull out faucet. Undermount plastic sink that goes the full width in through there. That's nice. A drawer here. 
Oh, you know what I love about this, AB? Cutting board into the garbage can. That's it, man. Super slick stuff. Covered, covered. Little drawer there, too. Like a wire rack drawer. Two smaller drawers. And then a skinnier cupboard here to pull out for all your spices. And then we have our 12 cubic foot gas electric fridge. Oh, a little skinny pantry there, too. LED lights in the uh, slide out flanges, which is nice. As you walk in the unit, you've got a closet there to hang up your coats, kick off your shoes, manuals, controls, central vac accessories, cupboard across the top, and then some more smaller cupboards here down below. I guess one cupboard, one cover for the breakers and the fuses. Nice landing in through here, hopping up into the bathroom, B. Feeling good about that? I oh, am. Yeah. Porcelain toilet in through here. Dump truck definitely fits. Cupboard, a few drawers, solid surface in here, big bathroom sink, medicine cabinet, and then maybe hop around the other side, Brandon, so we get a good view here. In the shower, I'm six feet tall. I fit in the shower quite easy. It's a neo-angled shower with no political affiliation. And then check out this linen closet right in through here. And then I'm going to go this way, Brennan. And I'll tell you why. I want to show off these cupboards right here, eh? Look at this. All out in the bedroom slide. Laundry prep. We got the two folding chairs to match up with the dinette. If you're not using this for laundry, you got a ton more storage. If you are using it for laundry, you still have that front closet we're going to get to. This is a queen size bed. They cut this down to make it a little bit easier to get around the bed. Slide within the slide. We've got uh, lights over top of the bed. Let me get those on for you, Brendan. Bingo, bango. Oh, there's more lights on that side. No, just further in, brother. Ooh. Next, there you go. Look at that. That's nice in through there. And then our big front closet, cedar lined, shelving, hanging, shelving, shelving, shelving. Look around to the right there, B. Wow, look at all that storage in through there. And then across from the bed, We've got this shelving location here, a couple more drawers, a couple more drawers, three more drawers down through here, and then one more shelving piece in through here. Again, LG TV across from the bed. That's the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.